button down and take as many sequences as I can during the course of the combustion. Uh, depending on the flame speed, we might have you change the flow once or twice before the next bracket. Copy that. So, uh, once things get going, uh, be proactive in telling me what to do, and remember that there's uh, probably a second, second and a half delay between uh, uh, when you start to tell me something and when I, I can hear it. So uh, if, it, if it looks like one set of brackets is coming to an end and you want me to increase the fan flow, you might start talking a, a little early so that way I could get on with turning the fan uh, while the, the, the fire is burning. Okay, we copy that and we'll try to stay ahead of it. Okay, if you concur, I'm ready to uh, uh, play with fire here. Okay, Don, I think we're ready to go here. So I'll put this in work. Photos, please. Fan 52 in photos. And more photos when a bracket's done. Looks like that's it. Uh, it's uh, burned its way down the whole sample. And I got a number of uh, bracket sequences off at the two fan settings and then one uh, shortly after ignition. Copy that, Don. Looks really good from here. We got a nice symmetric burn, and the flame was uh, uh, nice and blue at the end there. It looks like the fiberglass matrix is still intact, and uh, I'm assuming the, the uh, cotton was what burned. Oh, that's correct. That was the intention, is to have a matrix left over, so it's a more well-behaved flame.